Hello, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as the MoviePicks.com Guide to DVD Architect. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio. One of the most fun effects you can create in Movie Studio is the simple chroma key. Chroma key takes an actor standing in front of a green screen, a blue screen, or any smooth background and replaces that background to make it look like that actor is in another place. We have here in our uh, project assets here, our project media, we have our actor who was shot in front of a green screen. We'll move him down to video track two because we want him to be on top. We also have a photo of some scenery we're going to use for our new background. Doesn't need to be a photo, it can be a video. And I'm just going to extend this. You can do this with a photo, you can't really do it with video. But I want these to be the same length. Let's move our playhead into the middle here. And there we can see on our preview screen, there's our actor standing in front of the green background. Now the single most important element to creating a good green screen shot or a good chroma key shot is a well shot key shot <laughs> and here is a well shot key shot look at that background it is smoothly lit there's not a wrinkle there there's not a shadow there there's not a highlight or a hot spot uh, so it's a nice smooth background and our actor is also very well lit in the foreground now what chroma key essentially does is take a color any color you designate and make that color transparent we're going to take that green background there and we're going to tell the program make that transparent so that we can see what's on video track one in place of it and video track one is of course our scenery all of that together should give us the illusion that our actor is actually standing in the middle of a forest let's see if it works because this is a clipped based effect we're going to create the effect here as an as an event effect clicking on it right down here in the lower right of the clip I could also have gone to video effects here and simply chosen chroma keyer right here matter of fact let's do that you notice there's a default setting there are also a couple of presets one for a green screen let's use that we'll just drag that right on down to the clip and when I add it pretty good we see our actor standing in front of the background and we also see some settings here that we can play with now this is the color the key color that it's preset for and it does a pretty good job of hitting that one right on the nose in this case one of the things I often do when I'm setting chroma key is I set the um, key temporarily to show mask only this will show us what is transparent and what is not and you can see the background is not as transparent as we prefer so I'm going to try just lifting up the threshold here. There we go. Now we don't want to make it so transparent that the actor is also transparent. So I'm going to try to lower the high threshold. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Now we'll turn off the mask view. And now we see our actor standing in front of our background. That looks pretty darn good and it's pretty effective. If you want, you can also adjust the blur. That is the line between the actor and the background. Uh, sometimes if it's too crisp, it doesn't look natural. Uh, I put just, boy, look at that, 0 .007, just the slightest little uh, tap on there. And now we've got a much softer break between the actor and the background. Now the chroma key is the basic effect for any special effects you see in movies to make someone look like they're flying, to make someone look like they're in a strange, unusual place, or even a fictional place, uh, a virtual universe. You can put an actor in any location. It's also, you see that on the nightly news, the weatherman standing in front of his weather chart, chroma key. It's available to you right here in Movie Studio Platinum. I just love this effect. I think it's extremely um, effective here in Vegas Movie Studio. Now, if you want to know more about this wonderful program and all the terrific effects, uh, tools that are in it, I uh, hope you'll check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepicks.com. And if you want to know everything about it, check out our books, moviepicks.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as moviepicks.com guide to DVD Architect. They are available at amazon.com and, of course, right here at the Movie Pick Store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. See you again real soon.